first of all started it in a dilapidated hired building that we had at uh, Bisono. Alfred and Sarah Land now has a land certificate. This land is given that we have paid very, very little just to compensate her for the making of the documents. Okay, we didn't have to give her very much money to pay for the, for the land, just a small amount to help her meet the other nobles of this village, to give them drinks and to give them food. We have some other ladies who contributed to help so that we can bring up the buildings the way they are. Even the school bus is just a contribution. Water is very, very necessary. It's a necessity, water is life. So having a well on the school campus will be of great help to the children and the indigenous around too. Sometimes water will come out from mm -hmm. that. And, that's what they carry. Really? and they will carry, they will use that. But it doesn't come out all the time. So they come over here to use this one. To use it directly, they would just use it to wash the classroom and wash stuff. But they have to boil it to drink it. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go fetch water. So I'm going to push away yes, all the dirt. dirt. Without clean water, we have the possibility of uh, disease. Disease is affecting the, the children, like cholera, diarrhea, dysentery. The best way is to carry it. Ooh, okay. It's sliding <laughs> on my head. And now we can go back. And so with clean, good, portable water, it would help us to, to skip away from all these attacks of these diseases that are very, very rampant Hi. here in, in Cameroon. And that's what the children do every day. Yep. So the kids do this every, every single day. day. Get down there, carry water, and go round. Yep. If there is the money now, it will not take us two months. The world will be built. When you use this water, yeah. this is what happens. Oh yeah, it happens like this also. We're going to go all the way to school. I really want to have a feel of what the kids go through. To build a well, a good well, would cost close to 2.5 million to have a good well. And I think the thing that interested me the most was the fact that Mahana, as a lady, is compassionate about her community and how the community was coming in. She's getting this done, even without outside help. So it wasn't like we were coming in to solve their problems. It was, they were already doing something. Now we're coming in to see where we can help out a little bit. So we're hoping that we'll be able to raise all the funds we need to actually get the water project to them. And any other help that anybody can give to, to help the school will be greatly appreciated.